Have you ever wondered what makes time stop so overpowered? You might have heard it just stops time, but that doesn't quite explain why it's such a game changer. With the great help from Doomy, we're going to dive deep into the mechanics of time stop and uncover why it's one of the most broken abilities in the game. Before we begin, I would like to explain two terms that will be used quite a bit throughout this video, just so we're on the same page. Starting with, and game time. This is the time that appears at the top right of your screen. It shows how much time has passed, and stuff like countdown bar in the upper corner of the screen when doing stuff like Warzone also follows the time. Real time. As this term implies, this is the time that applies in real life, and usually falls in game time, except when time stop is in effect. There is a common misconception that most signature moves are ineffective due to their low raw damage. However, the real issue is that the buffs and debuffs often run out before the signature moves actually finish dealing damage. Or, the signature move takes 3 years to actually complete. Time stop is basically Curl's solution to it. As it freezes the in-game timer until the signature move finishes, this means basically zero time has passed in game during ultimates. Moreover, Time stop also freezes most buffs and debuffs, allowing players to do maximum damage with their signature moves. Not only that, you can use your buffs and debuffs anywhere before or during the ultimate as time stop skills doesn't snapshot your damage. So if used right, time stop ability can be a huge game changer for maximizing the effectiveness of buffs and debuffs in the game. The duration of most buffs and debuffs is based on in-game time. For example, if you use the Philip or Guinevere buff at 1 second, it will always last for 5 seconds and conclude at 6 seconds. With time stop, you can use the buff during or before a signature move and it will remain active for the entire duration of it, and then some, because the in-game time was frozen. Not only that, cooldowns are based on real time, so the length of the time between the activation of an effect and the availability again will be shorter with time stop. While most buffs and debuffs follow the rules outlined above, there are some exceptions. In the game, there are various entities that can buff or debuff characters, and all of these effects are tied to the entity's existence and range. Some examples that I'm referring to are Guinevere and Philip's four piece effect drone, Lux's QTE field, Lantern's two-piece effect, and Garnet's QTE flag. These entities typically last for a certain amount of time, but during time stop, the buffs and debuffs will remain active for the entire duration. Even if the entity's duration expires, the effects will only expire once the signature move ends. However, it is important to note that there may be some exceptions even to this exception. Some include Da Vinci's four piece effect. This cannot be frozen. The 20% attack buff leaves the field as soon as the QT character leaves. So you have to time this for optimal DPS. Lux's S plus cube. The cube's lightning resistance reduction will disappear once the cube disappears. Even the characters who QTE receiving buffs from memories, etc., does not get affected by time stop. For example, a Guinevere buff from Garnet due to Lux being QTE'd will run out in 5 seconds real time, but the one on a character like Crimson Weave will last 5 seconds in game time. Lastly, there are cooldowns that strangely enough follow in game times, like QTE, Swap In, and even Matrix. Well, except for Selena Caprizio for the last one, that's a whole different rabbit hole I'm not going to get into. The TLDR is characters having time stop abilities makes them generally better than those without. These signature moves are essentially free DPS windows, and because zero time has passed in game when using these abilities, and coupled with most of the buffs and debuffs durations following the rules of time stop, you essentially have more coverage the whole time. And that's all. I'm gonna go play Wuthering Waves now. If you want to see that, go here. Or if you want to see some other thing that might be helpful in PDR, go and check this other thing me and Doobie made. That's all. Bye.